because I'm going to just do half of my face with powder. I'm getting nice and close and personal. There's a lot, like, it, there's a lot of promises. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And today we're gonna be trying out the brand new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Pressed Mattifying Powder. This stuff claims to do a lot, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> we'll see if it can live up to all the promises. So let's get into it. Okay, how I wanna handle this is I'm going to just do half of my face with powder. And then the other half, I'm just gonna let it be on its own with a foundation that I know does decent on its own. It's not like perfect, like still needs some help, but it, I know it's not gonna just fall apart. And that is my favorite. You probably know if you've seen any videos with foundation in them. Physician formula, the healthy foundation, beautiful. I'm gonna do the right with the powder and the left without the powder. So according to the directions, it can be applied over or under makeup, which I'm assuming means like over or under like your blush and bronzer and stuff, not necessarily your foundation. And it can be applied with a powder brush or a sponge. So I think I'm going to do a sponge just on my forehead and then the rest of my face I'll do with a brush just to see if it like applies better one way or the other or if it lasts longer when you do one way or the other, all that stuff. I'm gonna apply my foundation real fast. Probably should get this headband actual use. Use it to pull my hair back so it's out of the way. Oh, that's not my favorite look, but it's temporary, it's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna spot conceal, just cause I wanna see if it can help kind of finish covering up anything that, you know, the foundation didn't do on its own. And I'm going to use the powder first before I do like my blush and bronzer and stuff. There's a lot, like it, there's a lot of promises. So I'm gonna try to read through them as fast as I can. According to Amazon, this powder instantly leaves skin looking matte and minimizes the appearance of oil and shine without looking dry, cakey, or ashy, and is long-lasting, buildable, and easily blends without settling into fine lines and smooths finish with no transfer or smudges or any makeup interruptions at all. Like, there's a lot there. <laughs> that's just insane. That's a lot to ask. It retails for $8, so that's not horrible. And I have it in the shade Light. There's definitely some smoothing properties to this. Like, that's nice. <laughs> I wanna like zoom you in on my nose. Like around here especially is where my pores are really bad. Like on the side of my nose, right next to my nose. I'm getting nice and close and personal. I don't know if how well you can see, but on this side, my pores are still pretty noticeable. I mean, they're not awful, but the foundation on its own normally doesn't do any type of smoothing stuff. This side, they're a lot less noticeable. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> my forehead, it didn't necessarily like settle into the lines, but it didn't make them any less visible. Same with in between my eyebrows. So it'll be interesting to see if it gets worse or it stays the same. But like from a distance, my forehead does look a lot smoother and there's no weird texture. A lot of times, especially with pressed powders, I have a hard time like having powder texture if I don't use a setting spray to kind of smooth things down afterwards, which I'm not going to. The coverage is decent. Like if you look at my lips, it looks like I have less there. So it definitely does have some coverage. It got rid of the, the zit that was kind of linked right there underneath the foundation. Like it looks good. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, the difference between I feel like my forehead and like the rest of my face is I feel like things look a little bit more smooth and I think it's because it was pressed in versus just wiped on. So there's even less of that powder look on my forehead compared to like my cheeks and my nose. Like I said, it's not awful like whatsoever, but I think that's the biggest difference. Coverage wise, I don't know if there's a huge difference. So I think it comes down to preference. We'll see what happens throughout the day if that makes a huge difference or not. But right now I wouldn't say there's like this tiny normal one. I really like how this looks so far. I feel like this side of my face looks more airbrushed and like more like smoothed out for sure. I didn't use like mattifying like blush or bronzer. I made sure they were both neutral. I'm not using any highlighter because I want to like see if like any shininess is coming through from like my oils and not, <laughs> not the highlighter. And also I didn't use any primer before I put on the foundation and I'm not using any setting spray. It's powders on its own. So it is currently 11.52. I am going to go about my day on halfway through the day, I'll do a check-in outside in natural lighting so we can see how everything is. Hopefully, it's been raining all day. I mean, thank goodness it's been raining all day because we need the rain. But I might have to just do it in front of a window. We'll see what happens. But you will at least get into natural lighting. Sometimes powder in natural lighting can look like extra powdery and not natural. So I think that'll be a really big test. But yeah, I will see you in just a second. 
Okay, so it rained all afternoon. It's not quite six o'clock yet, but I wanted to come out just in case it started raining again because there are clouds above my head. So a few things to start off. This side of my face, the non-powder side is shinier, but even though this side is shinier, this side's not like completely matte either. I wouldn't say it's awful or anything like that. Nothing's breaking apart, but if you like a completely matte look, you're, you would have to touch up at this point of the day, which halfway through the day, not that bad for a touch up, especially when it's just powder. Nothing's like been drying out or anything like that like nothing's uncomfortable it's felt like really really lightweight all things considered <laughs> i would say my only complaint right now is this side i have no smile line issues but this side i do <laughs> which doesn't make sense to me i mean overall so far so good really liking it i would use this underneath my eyes which normally i do not use a mattifying powder underneath my eyes i use like a super hydrating translucent powder so that's saying something which by the way my under eyes are horrendous today i don't know why just ignore that super excited can't wait to see how everything turns out at the end of the day. I will see you in just a second. <laughs> It is 12.06, so almost exactly 12 hours later. Things aren't looking too shabby. Like, we'll start with, I'm shiny. Am I that much more shiny than this afternoon? Probably not, but about an hour ago, I started getting that, like, you know, gracie feeling that you can sometimes get if you, like, didn't put enough powder on or you wore a dewy foundation when you really shouldn't have, like, that feeling. But only fading for the bronzer is, like, right near my hairline, which is where it always fades first recently. Don't know why. It's still, like, all around, like, my, the side of my face right here almost on my temple still on my nose and I would say like water shine on this side without powder and with like on my cheek area there really isn't that much on my nose there is some shine for sure but it's not quite as intense my eyebrows in between my eyebrows it's kind of like a lost cause it's, that's the only place that's probably started to separate slightly I don't really see a difference at all long term with using a brush versus a powder if you like apply the same amount obviously if you're using like a super fluffy brush, most likely you're gonna have to go back in and like layer it a little bit, which it layers nicely, so that's totally possible. And I really think it's just a preference on how you like things applied. But here's the thing, I never dry it out. So normally when a powder gets me as far in the day as this one did, it's either a hydrating powder or like it dries me out. So that was impressive that this didn't dry me out. Really enjoyed that. I like how smoothing it was. The coverage was good. Overall, it's a really good powder and it's eight bucks. It's not a horrible price or anything like that. If you want to see a battle between the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder and the Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I will get a small percentage of the profits if you use those links specifically to buy those products. It does not affect you whatsoever. You're good. I love you guys so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye!